Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video uh, where I talk about updating uh, the, the VirtualBox application when you've already got uh, virtual machines built uh, and that sort of thing. Um, I know that sometimes there can be some confusion about well, I've already got all this stuff, and if I update, am I going to lose anything? The answer to that is no. So uh, let's switch camera angles real quick, and I'll show you what I mean here. So here we can see that I've got a virtual box open. Um, and if I go up to file and come down just a little bit and click on check for updates, it says that there is a new version available. So if I just click OK, um, hopefully it will um, run the update for me. Or maybe not. Let's say check for updates. Okay, I was wrong. I'm just gonna click that link. Of course, it's gonna open in a new window. Um, it opened up right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna close uh, VirtualBox altogether, make sure that it's completely closed out here. And now that we've got uh, VirtualBox down here, uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and run that. And it should go through the installation process uh, relatively quickly. Uh, there's really nothing in here you need to change, uh, so you can just go ahead and click uh, next through all the way all the way through all this, um, and then click install. <clears throat> we can close our our browser window here. That should be fine, and we'll just let this. Uh, Go through its process probably take it a minute or two uh, just to go through the the setup process um, but then once it's oops but once it's done uh it should be a fairly quick thing here um going through uh, removing some stuff it doesn't need uh, updating some stuff copying the new files over and <clears throat> then it's created our, our desktop icon there i'm gonna go ahead and click on start and here we can see we've got the newest version uh, with all of our existing uh, virtual machines still there. Um, and in fact, just to show that it still works, I'm going to go ahead and run Ubuntu here real quick, uh, just to show that it is working and that we haven't lost anything at all. Okay, so it's going to go through a little bit of a cleanup process there. Nothing to be concerned with so far. Don't know why I'm holding my hand here. That's weird. And hopefully we should get a desktop here in just a second. Ooh, saw a mouse cursor. That's a good sign. And there we go. So, um, so like I said, nothing to worry about there and shut that down switch back over to here so there we go guys uh, like i said updating VirtualBox to the newest version uh, will not any way negatively affect um, any of your virtual machines as long as there's not a problem with the installation process so hopefully that clears some things up for anybody who's got a question about that uh, if you've got additional questions please feel free to leave those in the comment section down below i love talking to you guys helping you with your questions that sort of thing if you've found this video helpful do me and the channel a favor big thumbs up helps us out a ton and i'd really appreciate it i'm gonna wrap it up there thanks so much for your time i always appreciate your support and i'll talk to you in the next one